Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to show you this 25 watt solar panel I've picked up to use in a project I have called Grissel. At least that's how I'm going to pronounce it is Grissel. Let's unbox it and see what we have here. Let's see what comes with it. Alright, so... Lots of things. We have our alligator clips, SAE connections. Alligator clips work with a whole list of things. The knees also, of course, with the SAE connection. And this is for a cigarette lighter. We have two clips. Suction cups. Let's see what we have inside here. Of course, this will be the solar panel itself. Instructions. Always important to have instructions. You know, I will admit, occasionally I don't read them. And there is a quick look look at the specifications for you. It does say four suction cups, so I suppose in that bag there is four. And of course I showed you the two hooks. All right, so, and we'll get to reading it in a bit. So let's see what we have. It looks very nice. And of course this is Ooh, this is very nice looking. I'll have to research what it is. And of course, we have our connection to, to go to our solar, from our solar panel to our device. Give some information there. And this opens and closes. So yes, I like this. It looks very nice. So that's our unboxing. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. The back of the box also has some information on it, which I'll show you real quick about its capabilities. We have our model, which we know is a S25, so it's 25 watt. They told us that. It says what type of solar panel we have, monocrystalline, which is standard. Our surface treatment is a... E-T-F-E, -E, which is what this material here, that I think looks very modern, actually. Looks very cool. Very nice. And I can't pronounce what all those letters stand for. All right, when I looked it up, they said this E-T-F-E -E surface, right, processes the transparency and the light transmit up to 95%. So that should be really good if it will be 24%, which when I looked it up said it would, more efficient than normal, than a normal solar panel. So we'll have to test that and see if that actually works. It says it's extremely durable, which I believe, and corrosive resistant and fire retardant. And that may very well be, but I think it looks cool anyway. That's what's important. Okay, now... It says its peak power is 25 watts. Output interface is a SAE. I have a lot of SAEs right there. You can see them. I use them on my harbor, from my harbor freight equipment and some others I have. So I actually like that it has an SAE. It's open circuit volt, voltage is 18.75 volts. Max load 15. Max load current 1.67 amps. Operating temperatures, minus 20 to 60, right? Celsius, so you want to calculate that, right, into Fahrenheit. So, minus 20 to 60, right? It says it's weight, very lightweight. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out, or read the directions, perhaps, set it all up, see you then. 
Okay, folks, now what I'm going to do is show you several different ways to hook this up, all right? Remember, it's just a trickle charger. It's not going to charge an entire battery up. I want to stress that. So one of the first ways you can do is just set it on your windshield. We're going to take our cable, and we're going to connect it to our alligator clamps, which, of course, we're going to put on our battery. So we take this and just put it together. Nice fit. Remember, these are waterproof. It's now right through there. Right? And we're going to take it over here and hook it to the battery. There we go. And hook the red to the red. And the black to the black. Now, if I'm not filming, this stays just perfect. But since I am filming, it's going to do this. Okay, so as you can see now, it is hooked up. We can put the hood back down if we want to. And there's a space between the hood and where the solar panel is. So the cable's not going to get broken. And you can let it trickle charge just like that if you'd want. The next way I'm going to show you is still basically like this setup, except we're going to do it from inside the car. It will attach to other surfaces, but I suspect the uh, windshield is probably be going to be the one we're going to use. Uh, most places, you know, you're going to want to do this between 9 in the morning and 5 p.m. to get the very best uh, solar power you can. Now, with this... It has a built-in charger with an anti-flow resistor, which is pretty good because it prevents backflow, which means if you keep the solar panel connected overnight, it isn't going to discharge your battery like a lot of solar panels will. And I find that's really interesting and a good feature to have because you're just trickle charging, which means you're going to want it connected for a long period of time. The final way I'm going to show you how to connect the solar panel is to just use the cigarette lighter. Now, the solar panel, if you see up here, is still in the same configuration it was when I had it hooked into the alligator clips to the battery. So, the only difference now with this configuration is the cable, instead of going to the motor and the battery, is going to stay in the car. Okay? So... Battery connector for the cigarette lighter came like this. And all you have to do is pull it off. It is actually pretty easy. But you never know till you do it. All right. So now, same as we did before, we connect the SAE together. Real simple, easy to do. And in this case, we're coming down here to our cigarette lighter. And we're going to install it. Just like that. And it is now in. And it is now charging the battery. Now, there is no little light or anything that shows that it's actually charging. You have to get a, you either have to trust it, which you will after a while because they do work, or take your voltmeter out, which I did, and test it to see that it actually is working. Now, you have to be careful. Some cars actually have to be turned on. You don't have to turn the engine on. You have to turn the car on itself to make this work, right? The cigarette lighter work. Now, you'll have to check yours out to see which it does. This car, you don't have to have it turned on, but many, many do. So make sure you check that or you're going to plug it in. It's not going to work and you're going to say, this thing isn't working, all right? So make sure that you have that checked. That's And that is the three different ways you can connect this solar panel to the car. Now we'll take it all back inside and do a roundup for you. All right, folks, let's go ahead and do our roundup of our Grissel solar panel, 25 watt. Now, this is a battery charger maintainer. 
and I've been calling it a trickle charger, which is the same thing. It just won't charge up an entire battery on its own in a short amount of time. But you can use this for a great many things. I showed you how to use it in the car, which is how most of you will probably be using it. But you can also use this for a car, a boat. You can use it for your RV trailer, if you have one, a camper. You can use it for lawnmowers, motorcycles, jet skis, water pumps, just about anything, even a tractor if you have one sitting out in the yard that doesn't get moved much. And this will work wonderful for that. It has passed all the tests we've done. It will do the 25 watts. And yes, I would recommend it. I think if you need something with this capability, this for the price point will be an excellent purchase for you. If you have this or something like this, put it down in the comments and let me know what you think. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe, like, and share, and ring the little notification bell. Shoestring out.